O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Merry Christmas, everyone. So what do Christmas and the Fatima message have to do with each other? Stay tuned to find out. Hello and welcome to America Needs Fatima. I'm Nick Breidigam, and if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscription button as well as the notification bell to never miss out on another story of Mary. With Advent completed and Christmas here, we turn our hearts to the angel's proclamation to the shepherds. I'm quoting, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all people. For today, in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, who is Messiah and Lord. The reaction of the shepherds at Bethlehem is the same as that of Lucia, Francisco, and Jacinta at Fatima when Our Lady appeared to them. How many times have we gone through Christmas and not made it a point to convert ourselves to Christ? We see all the commercialism and materialism at work in people during this time, but what about the interior life? It always seems to go unnoticed. This is not about presence, wrong present. This is about being present to our Lord in our own sinfulness and in need of conversion. This conversion is key, and the seers of Fatima knew full well it must occur for Our Lady's Immaculate Heart to triumph. We pray the rosary and offer acts of reparation for sinners, but these without the key element of conversion would be like baking cookies. I know, it's a Christmas reference. You get most of the ingredients, but fail to get one, sugar. The cookies won't taste right. The same can be and should be said for us converting ourselves to God. Why would we miss a crucial element like conversion? This Christmas, one way in which you can foster conversion is through confession. Another way would include adding both spiritual and corporal works of mercy. Do not boast about them when you do them or afterwards. Stay humble as our Lord did. Another way to really work on conversion is to realize that we are in a constant state of conversion. It is cyclical because we still sin and still need to confess those sins. Conversion is entering into communion with our Lord at a deeper and more profound state. Like when we look at people, are we focusing too much on their materialistic things? or focusing on them as your brother or sister in Christ. Don't allow the world and its values to infect and invade your interior life in Christ Jesus. Another way in which the Fatima message of Our Lady relates to Christmas is to pray her Holy Rosary. I look at the joyful mysteries. There you have the nativity of our Lord. It's right there as the third mystery the Incarnation being born into the world. We look to this mystery to see and develop within ourselves what makes this such a pivotal moment. It all started with Mary's yes to God through the Holy Spirit. Are there things in our life that we need to begin saying yes to? The Fatima seers knew that their yes to Mary's appearances and her commands would not be understood by many. That needs to be stated in this way. Our role in this life is to serve and love God with all of our heart, mind, and soul. And by saying yes to him, we encounter the divine and he communicates to us in different ways. The rosary is one of those ways. Pray it daily. Our Lord, and especially our Blessed Mother, will never forget that. Why not pray it through Christmas with your family? Talk about conversion. 
Through this Christmas season, try and attempt to bring the message of Fatima of conversion, praying the rosary, and making reparations for the sins against our Lord as a focus in yourself and in your family's life. Speaking of praying the rosary, have you heard of America Needs Fatima's public rosary rally campaign? Every year, we sponsor thousands of public rosary rallies all across America in an effort to make more people aware of Our Lady's message. If this sounds like something you want to be a part of, click the link I've left down below to get your free rosary rally kit. Want to know what Our Lady's message at Fatima and your New Year's resolutions have in common? Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. May God bless you and Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. Merry Christmas, everyone. See you next time.